This is a question from an exam three in a past semester. First, you have to determine the hydrogen deficiency index of a molecule. Then you have to determine the number of rings versus the number of pi bonds. Then you look at the ozonolysis product. and go backwards to get a possible structure. Let's go through it step by step. First, we've got to calculate the HDI. And you'll recall the formula for hydrogen deficiency index is one half twice the number of carbons plus two plus nitrogens minus halogens minus hydrogens. So this equals one half of two times eight plus two plus two nitrogens minus zero halogens minus 12 hydrogens, which comes to one half of 20 minus 12 or one half of eight, which equals four and four is the number of rings plus the number of pi bonds. When we do hydrogenation, we'll add two hydrogen atoms for each pi bond. So looking at the formula of the catalytic hydrogenation product tells us the number of pi bonds. So, the hydrogenation product has four more hydrogen atoms, which means there are two pi bonds. But our HDI was four. That means we also have two rings. So this is the statement we need to circle here. Next, we're shown the ozonolysis product. And what we're going to do is remove this oxygen and this oxygen and connect those two carbons via a double bond and we'll do the same thing with this oxygen and this oxygen. Now this is just one of three different ways to do it. On the red side of the molecule there's a six-membered ring and on the green side of the molecule there's a six-membered ring and they share one side in common. So this is a bicyclic with two six-membered rings. So it's going to look something like this. Now, if we number It's number three and number four for both rings that are part of the shared um, side of the ring. So that means this is number two, this is number one, this is six, and this is five. Two, one, six, and five. So that's our numbering. And then the pi bonds go between carbons one and six. So that's a double, that's a double. And then we also have these two nitrogens in position two of each ring. So there's a nitrogen and there's a nitrogen. When we redraw it, it looks like this. Bear in mind, this would also produce one other possibility. What if we connected up that as its own ring and this as its own ring? Then you'd get two five-membered rings, one of which had two nitrogens. 
and it would look like this.